As we sit here today, there are a lot of people that have been hurt. Things have happened to you. Things have happened to you in the church. Things have happened to you in your family. And it's easy to get angry. It's easy to get bitterness. It's easy to allow some things to settle down on the inside of you. But I want to encourage you today to let it go. Now, I know you might be sitting there thinking, it's easier said than done. You're absolutely right. It's easy to say it, but it's hard to do it. Amen. And one of the challenges, and I'm just going to touch on this, one of the challenges of forgiving people who have hurt you is that there are times in life that you could relapse. And when you relapse from something, the emotion and the feelings reappear. And sometimes the memory reappears. This is why it's important for you and I as people of God, according to Romans chapter 12, verse 2, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed or changed by the renewing of your mind. Sometimes those old emotions and those old feelings, the only way you're going to overcome them is by, number one, admitting that you were hurt. Don't act like you weren't hurt, but admit to it. You know what? That hurt me. You know what? That offended me. But after you have regurgitated that by saying that hurt me, that offended me, or that bothered me, then you need to release it. Amen. And when you release something, you let it go. Not because I feel like it, not even because sometimes I want to, but I want to obey God's word more than how I feel. There are great opportunities and great things waiting for you in your future. There are things that God wants to do for you. There are doors that God wants to open for you. There are areas of healing that can be blocked because of unforgiveness. See, sometimes I know you want to get them back. You want to be there when they get something happens to them. You, wanna, you want karma to happen. What goes around. You all know that, don't you? But that is not the will of God for us. God doesn't want us paying people back. He wants us releasing people. Here's the thing. If you don't release people, then you're not released yourself. God wants you to move on. The fact that you obeyed him in forgiving them, you have opened yourself up for God to do greater things in your life. Amen. And believe it or not, when we hold unforgiveness in our heart, it blocks our sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. And I don't know about you, but in life, we need to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit so we can know the next step in life. Can you say amen to that? There are seas of greatness 